Welcome to Statistics in a Cell, Excel video number 40. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Business Tune 210 Chapter 3. Hey, if you're in the class, just go to our class website. Hey, uh, we're talking about variability. Back here just a moment ago, we did a visual portrayal of variability. Here we want to do uh, talk about range and then interquartile range. Now range is uh, a nice simple straightforward uh, measure for the range or variability in the data. The only problem with this it is that sometimes the extreme values if you have some outliers, some a couple values that are way out there, the range uh, may give you the impression that the data is spread out more than it actually is. Just a moment ago, you could imagine if you had one out here, but all the rest were right here, then the range would give us a misleading uh, uh, measure for variability. Let's come over here. Range is simple. It's max minus min. I'm going to highlight both cells, and in the active cell, I'm going to type equals min. And I'm going to highlight these relative cell references. Close parentheses. Now I've highlighted both of these cells in advance. When I control enter, it'll populate the cells. And this blue box, because I didn't lock it, will move over here. Control enter. And then you can go ahead and see that that actually worked by hitting F2. Let's do the same thing for max in the active cell equals max. And I highlight this first range relative. Notice I don't even have to put that close parentheses. I just control enter. So range, I can highlight both cells, and in the active cell, I could do my formula equals whatever the max is, a relative cell reference one above, minus two cells above, control enter. You can see that that actually works. So there it is, the range is 8 and 15. Which one has more variability? This one by far. You can see from our visual portrayal, we, got, we came to the same conclusion with a visual portrayal. And now with range, we came to the same conclusion also. This data set, this sample, has uh, more variability in the data points. You could also, just like we concluded over here, well, th this was a better measure. We could say the mean, uh, actually, I wouldn't conclude that from the range because, the and again, as we just mentioned a, a moment ago, the extreme value could uh, make it look like the range is big where all the other data points were all clustered here. So you probably don't want to use this one to make any conclusions about uh, how fairly the mean represents its data points. Ah, But it's still nice and easy. You do get an idea and it's easy to calculate. Let's go over to our uh, V3 sheet because we want to talk about interquartile range. Interquartile range, now I already calculated the quartiles here using the quartile function for uh, quartile 1 and quartile 3. Ah, what does this do? This gives us, because quartile 2 would be the median, quartile 1 is the uh, first quarter mark in the data set, or percentile 25. Uh, quartile 3 is the 75 percentile. Ah, between these two values, 50% of the uh, data points lie. So this is a method, interquartile range. We're going to take quartile 3 minus quartile 1. It's a way to eliminate extreme values. Not only that, but the interquartile range here is an important uh, component of a box plot, which we'll do a couple videos ahead. So you calculate quartile 1 and quartile 3. Uh, and then simply subtract 1 from 3. In the active cell, I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to take my third quartile minus my first quartile. We get 5.5, so there's a range between quartile 1 and quartile 3, 50% of the values. There it is. There's the range for the middle 50% there and there. Now you can see if we did range here, we had some uh, more extreme values here, so we got 9 here and 16 here. Uh, from here to here, we're doubling it. From here to here, we are uh, not even close to doubling it. Um, so that's interquartile range and uh, range. When we come back, we'll talk about uh, 
standard deviation and or variance and then the more important one standard deviation all right see you next video